Hi everyone, I'm Solaris. Welcome to Solaris Fairy Astrology and Tarot. These cards are from my Tarot de Paris deck, which is so beautiful. So feel free to pick the pile that you like the best. Pile one is the Queen of Matter, which is the Queen of Coins. Pile two is the Nine of Water, which is the Nine of Cups. And pile three is the Stallion of Water, which is the Knight of Cups. This video is really for people who are in separation or are in no contact with your person, but it could also be for people where you just don't hear from them very often because this video is for people where their person is not really talking to them a lot. It's why are they silent? So why are they not talking to you? So feel free to pick pile one, two, or three. I'll see you there. Hi Pile One, welcome to your reading today where we want to focus on why are they so silent? Why are they not messaging you, calling you, texting you, seeing you as often? Or why has it just been reduced contact compared to what they were doing? So you guys picked the Queen of Coins. I put it back in the deck and I'm reshuffling this Tarot de Paris deck just so that you guys can have it come up in your spread in an important way if it does. Um, I hope you've enjoyed where I was. It's Normandy in France. It's one of my favorite resorts ever. It's um, a beautiful hotel called Auberge de la Source. So it's in Barneville de Bertrand. If you guys want to visit it, it's very beautiful. I love it. Anyways, without further ado, let's look at you and your person, shall we? So I'm going to start off first with your side how you're thinking and feeling about your person. And I will do reversals because I feel like it's going to give me more information. Three cards for their side, how they are thinking and feeling about you at the moment. Three cards for the past, what has happened to maybe give a little more insight as to what's going on. Three cards for the near future in the next three months. And that's lucky, he's being destructive and very intrusive <laughs> and then a card for a longer term outcome or a final outcome or an outcome beyond three months down the road so what you have okay so number one i can see you are a manifester if you guys are into um was it sacred geometry um yeah i think that is you might be a manifesting generator um, I get the initiation card in this deck, which is a magician. So I feel like you're really trying to manifest some things to happen. So you might be trying to exert your free will here. You might be trying to make some magic. You might be doing some rituals or you might just be using positive affirmations. So it seems like for you, you are really trying to manifest um, a lot of great things in your love life. And I can see how you've been noticing how things have been a little more stagnant with your person or calm or again, silent. Um, I get the four of air or four of swords, which represents um, things being calm or inactive or, you know, not really happening. So you're trying to manifest. You also might be trying to manifest your own calm and your own serenity internally. And then I get the seven of cups in reverse. So I feel like you might even have some kind of commitment with your person or some kind of relationship with them. Usually the seven of cups in when it's upright, it'll talk about um, not having a commitment or being dazzled by a lot of things and not knowing what to pick. Um, having things be more on like a fantasy level. Because it's in reverse, I feel like you guys have more of a commitment or maybe you're manifesting a commitment with your person, even if it's kind of quiet right now. Um, or maybe you guys have some agreement to be monogamous or some agreement to be together, but maybe there is some undefined kind of still aspect, uh, to this. You may have a situation ship where you have some things you guys have agreed upon with each other, but not quite, or you may have a very unconventional or unusual partnership, something that goes against traditional norms. Okay. Uh, for your person, I get that your person is going through a lot right now. 
I get the Ace of Wands in reverse or Ace of Fire. So I feel like they're trying to repress their feisty, fiery sexual energy towards you. They're trying to not be hasty or impulsive or jump towards you. <laughs> they're trying to not do things right away or instantly. So I get they're trying to like repress their internal fire. I also get the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like they either are or have recently freed themselves from what has been trapping them or holding them back. So hopefully we'll see that they come into your life sooner than later uh, in the future cards, or maybe we'll even see in the past what was restricting them. Because with the Eight of Swords in reverse, it can be that they were trapped in their own mind, but now they are working through it. It could be that they were trapped by something physical or restrictive, like a busy work schedule or another relationship or, you know, just anything that was kind of interfering family members, um, anything that was restricting them or holding them back. And then I get the two of cups in reverse. So your person doesn't really feel like you guys are in a committed partnership and you might feel the same, but you're hoping that you guys will be. Um, so it just might feel like your person's like, well, I'm not committed or, oh, I'm not as committed as I could be, or, oh, I'm not married to them or something like that. So your person is looking at it like they are freeing themselves up from something. In the meantime, they are really trying to repress their sexual desires. And they're also feeling like, well, we're not in a relationship or anyway, or not in a commitment anyway. So you might feel like if you guys are in an undefined connection that you guys are committed or that you guys have some kind of commitment, but they may not be on the same page or they may be looking at the part of it that isn't defined or isn't there. So that might be just kind of what's on their mind right now. We don't even know how they feel about that. They may wish that you guys had a more solid commitment. Um, but right now it seems like they're looking at it like, well, we're not together. In the past, I get the spirit of fire. So I'm getting, and it's in reverse. So in the past, it seems like there's a lot of concepts here of freedom. So the seven of cups in reverse is like committing to something. The eight of swords in reverse is removing from something. The two of cups in reverse is removed from something. And the spirit of fire is, you see there's like the Statue of Liberty here. Now it's in reverse. So it's like in the past, there was something that impinged um, upon your freedom or their freedom, or maybe the freedom in this connection together. Um, I do get the hanged man in reverse as well, which means that something happened to change their perception of you or your perception of them, or it seems like their perception of relationships. So it seems like that they have definitely gone through a lot of contemplating and a lot of thinking. They've really changed their belief system and they're trying, and I feel like it has to do with freedom. Like how can they be in a connection and also still feel free? Because there's a lot of themes of feeling trapped and tied up with the hangman and the eight of swords. The seven of cups is about releasing commitments, but it's in reverse. And so it's kind of like wanting to have a commitment the, eight, the spirit of fire is about wanting to release commitment. And then the two, which normally the page of wands is not about that. But in this particular deck, I always read it as that because of the Statue of Liberty, which is supposed to embody freedom. We can leave political discussions for another time. Okay. Um, and then the two of cups, which represents commitment. So, but it's in reverse. So there's a lot of themes about restriction and freedom and commitment. So your person might be trying to really analyze their beliefs about that, or that might be what they have done already. Because I even get the two of coins or two of pentacles, which in this deck is two of matter. And it represents about being back and forth. So kind of having one foot in, one foot out. So I feel like your person in the past has had one foot in, one foot out with you because of commitment, wanting to have commitment, but also not wanting to be restricted and wrestling with the concepts of how do they feel free and how do they feel committed. And you may be already aware of this, <laughs> but it seems like that's what your person has been struggling with or battling with. And your person may even feel like if I'm not ready to be fully in a commitment with pile one and give them what they deserve, maybe I shouldn't be having, you know, sex with them, or maybe I shouldn't be hooking up with them, or maybe I should be leaving pile one alone until I'm ready for that. Or maybe we're not on the same page when it comes to commitment, like that kind of stuff. Um, in the future, so, okay, in the future, there is really good stuff. 
Um, so number one, I still don't feel in the next three months that they're going to be more consistent. I do feel they may still have like a one foot in, one foot out situation because I get the eight of coins or eight of matter and I get it in reverse. So usually when it's upright, it represents like consistency or investment or putting time into something and really being reliable. But with it in reverse, I feel like in at least the next three month period, they're not really ready to be consistent or reliable or really present for you, um, for, you know, in that way. But I do feel like they will be there, uh, just not all the time. But I get the spirit of matter. I feel like with the princess of coins or page of pentacles that it's like they feel like they might not have that much to give you. So they, again, they feel like they give you a little bit, but not a ton and not all the time. So I feel like you'll hear from them and you'll get kind of sporadic conversation, but it's not going to be consistent conversation. It's not like good morning, beautiful all the time and good night and you know, all that. And you know, how is your day and what are you doing today? And oh, let's talk all day. And you know, it's not gonna be like that. Um, so the spirit of matter, it represents, um, they give you a little bit, but not a lot. Um, and not consistently, but whatever they do give you or whatever they say, it does seem like with the three of swords in reverse, normally three of swords or three of air, it represents like a sadness, but with the three of swords in reverse, it represents a healing where like the swords are falling out of the heart. In this particular deck, what I love about the Tarot de Paris deck, and you may remember this if you are a follower of my channel, and if you're not, please subscribe. Um, what it is, is usually, and you can even see actually there are three of swords right here, ironically on the Cadis. So there's a Cadis here, and then there's three swords in it. So when you turn it upside down, the three of swords fall out. So what I love about this is this is about Rodan's the thinker. So again, your person being in like a lot of reflection, a lot of thinking energy, a lot of healing energy. So your person might be healing from past traumas or past relationship pain. Your person might be really kind of, you know, really revising or reanalyzing what, again, how they view relationships, how they view restriction, freedom, and commitment, and their involvement and what's required of them and all of that, um, and all that stuff. Or it might be that just what they say or do, it really is healing for you. So even if they're not there all the time, it, there may be some form of like reassurance that they give you, which is beautiful. And I do get the chariot. So the chariot is beautiful. It does represent beyond three months mark, you guys can progress this connection. So maybe it's just a temporary pause. It might be that this is a necessary piece to the puzzle that needs to get figured out for them in order to progress with you. So there is definitely a lot of contemplation. And I mean, to me, honestly, it does look like there's a lot of breakthroughs. So that is beautiful because the chariot is lovely. This is about moving forward uninhibited. It's about moving forward, not feeling blocked. So that is great. So I do feel like that your person is starting to, you know, do the pieces that need to happen in order for this to connect and to progress. Um, but what I do love, and, and also if you guys are long distance, this could represent travel to each other. So there is that. Um, but what I do love with this is it does seem like why they're silent is really about their fear of commitment and their fear of not being really ready or, you know, feeling like commitment can be really re restrictive or trapping or that kind of thing. But if they were going to talk to you, I'm going to look at the Hermit Tarot and see what would they say. So if they were going to talk to you right now or if they were going to talk to you more, what would they say to you? What would they say to you if they could? Well, okay, so they are the ones obviously that are holding themselves back. Now, there's some euphemisms in here. So if you guys catch it, you go right ahead. So I get, let me have you, and then I am coming, trust. So there may be like they want to be with you passionately. Um, so there is that they may want to finish with you, all that kind of jazz. Uh, also numbers January 7th or July 1st are coming up as well. So important birth dates or dates for you guys. Um, but yeah, so your person, if they could tell you anything, they would express how much sexual attraction they do feel for you, how much they do want to be with you and how much passion they do have with you. Because I see how they were trying to repress that with the ace of wands in reverse. So I feel like if they would let themselves do whatever they wanted 
and they would let themselves be selfish or they would let themselves not be overanalyzing. So I feel like if they were to do that, that they would definitely want to come to you right now and, you know, pursue you very quickly. Now, for some of you, and you know, and I was getting kind of that message for some, um, there may be in a relationship already, but if that's the case, you already know about that. So this is not new information for you. So for some of you watching, your person is in a relationship already that they do need to free themselves from. Now, if that's the case and that's you, what's good is I like how in the next three months they're wrestling with it, but then the chariot is that they do free themselves and they do come more forward. So that is good for those of you where you know your person is already in a relationship and that's why you guys have your situationship. It could be an affair. It could be a passionate, you know, crush. It could be that you guys have a longing for each other but haven't been together or can't be together. So there's a lot of you watching with different scenarios. Now, the thing that's so crazy is your person's contradictory energy, which I'm sure you already know. So you may have a hot and cold person, or you may have a person that holds themselves back and then moves forward. Because I get love me and then wait. So they're like, give me love, but not right now. Please do this, but not that much. Is your person a cat? <laughs> Is your person a cat? Where they're like, oh my gosh, I love you. No, no, not that way. Yo, touch me. No, I don't want you to pat me right now. Your person is a very fickle little little baby here. So I get the love me where they really do want your love. They want your passion. They want you to like pour it on them. But then they're like, but hold on, hold on, hold on. So maybe they're just like waiting for the right time. Maybe they're waiting to get away to a place where you guys can talk. Maybe they're like, okay, it's a divine timing issue. Maybe they're like, I want your love, but wait, hold on. I need to make sure I'm not being like a selfish little baby and like not giving you love. That kind of thing. Yes. Okay. So another reason of why they're silent is that they're too afraid to talk. So I feel like they're too afraid to talk to you. They might be nervous or worried or anxious about getting caught. If there's someone else, they may be too afraid to talk. Let's say if they're at work um, and there's someone else is a boss, they might be too afraid to talk. And because it seems like that they <laughs> with these is I'm getting this they might feel like it's harder for them to talk but they really want to be you know they may let their body talk right like that song so it seems like that they may feel more comfortable you know communicating with touch love language than with words of affirmation so that's something as well and also I get I would do anything for you and that could be in the bedroom or that could be you know I would say it's very interesting. So it could be in the bedroom or it could just be, you know, access service, doing things, gifts, you know, they would want to do anything for you, but they have their hangups. They have their blocks, that kind of thing. They're afraid. They have a lot of anxiety. So that's very interesting. And then more numbers. I get January 5th. I get uh, the 10th of the month, the 15th of the month. I get July 3rd, January 3rd, and I get 777, which is money. So yay. Okay. So very interesting. Or 77, 1977. So there are lots of signs, you guys. So that's very interesting. What else would they say to you if they could? I'm going to get the untold truths of the heart oracle. So we're going to do five cards. infatuation adoration addiction compulsion okay you guys so you have a person that's obviously very passionate i mean all the cards i was getting in this spread where they're trying to like hold themselves back and they're trying to repress their like sexual attraction for you and they're really trying to like resist you i think it's very funny so they're very infatuated you definitely have like worked your manifestation magic on this person for sure and then trapped yes that's a lot of what i'm getting because like with that eight of swords and everything, stuck, tied down, and captive. So your person is really restricted, especially if they're in a relationship with someone else. They might really be trying to be monogamous or faithful to that person. Um, so that's interesting. But then I'm also getting that they're just like so addicted to you. They're very infatuated. Yeah, and then fantasy, which is interesting because you did get the seven of cups on your end, which is a fantasy card. 
So this is very interesting because it says dreams, fairy tale, imagination. So your person is fantasizing about you a ton. So if they're obsessed with you and they can't come to you because they're trapped, they are going to be fantasizing about you like crazy. So better off happiness, perspective, clear head space, which is interesting because we did get the hangman in reverse in the past. So it seems like your person also might think like you're better off without them. Or they might think like, especially if they're in a relationship, they may be like, I don't want to mess up pile one's vibe. I don't want to mess up their life. I don't want to like be all angsty and give them drama. I think it's better off that maybe I restrict myself and not confuse them and not like mess with their head. I just don't want to like confuse them and, and be all that trouble. And that might be a little bit of their, their pessimistic feelings or that might be a little bit of their low self-esteem or that kind of thing. And but I get upheaval. You have really churned a, like a hurricane inside of your person because I get shock, the unexpected and trouble, which again, I was saying like they don't want to make you any trouble. But it's interesting because I'm just getting like there is so much going on inside of them. This is the tower moment card. So it's very interesting where I feel like, yeah, your person is still feeling very like electrified by you in a very big way. So there is definitely a lot of that. Um, let's see. That's what I want. I want to see what do they feel for you right now? What are their emotions for you when they think about you? Yes. Okay, good. So they've already started this process. I get the healing card that is flipped up. So I like that. So they're definitely trying to heal. Yeah, of course they are. Okay. Held up. That one is a yes. All these are too many. They'll take these. Okay. All right. So it's interesting because I get healing first. We can fix. I know we can fix what has broken. So your person, I feel like you guys might be in a little bit of like a waiting time or in like a limbo time period. If you guys are watching this video when I'm releasing it, we have a lot of astrological like stuff going on. We have Venus retrograde in Leo that can sometimes delay romantic love or reunite past lovers. We have Saturn retrograde in Pisces that can be the same. It can be about kind of confusion in regards to commitment, releasing commitment, or trying to figure out how to move forward with something but feeling a little blocked or stuck. We have those things. And we also, in the next few days, we have Mercury retrograde starting August 23rd. So we have like a lot of shit retrograde and starting to be. So if your love life is a little crazy right now, just hold on. It's okay. You know, um, a lot of this stuff settles out. Um, September 3rd is when Venus goes direct. Uh, November 4th, I believe, is when Saturn goes direct. And I don't know when Mercury goes direct. I didn't care because it's minor. Um, four, four weeks after the 23rd. So whatever that is, like September 21st-ish. So, so no worries. Um, a person wants to heal. I get the boredom. This is your person is so bored without you. Oh my gosh. They wish they could talk to you and they're trying to like be calm. They're trying to be cool. They're trying to be good. They're trying to like you know, do their thing, but they are bored. And without you in their life, so boring. Okay. Lies. I can't seem to do what's right. So I also feel like your person might be lying to other people in regards to your connection. They might be hiding it. I feel like a lot of this, you guys, this is like a third party pile. I want to say, so if so, they might be lying to their person about you. They might be lying to you about like st small, stupid little white lies or whatever. Um, if they're making excuses for like why they're not talking or, oh, so sorry, I was busy, you know, bullshit like that. Um, and then I get open. I'm afraid of opening my heart again. So your sweet little darling is also afraid of getting hurt. So I do feel like your person doesn't want to get hurt. They are protecting their heart probably a little too much. And it seems like your person's afraid of opening up and maybe being forthcoming with you. I don't necessarily feel like the lying is like a bad thing. I just feel like it's more of a excuses or more of like just not really wanting to be super open with you about how they feel like that kind of thing so I feel like that but also if they are on their if they're on their antics then that might just be like what they're doing at the moment uh, but they are sorry so I get please forgive me sorry and of course that obviously will <laughs> land for some of you and some of the other of you will be like not if they're lying so they just wake up and they lie in. <laughs> um, then I get inspired. Your light illuminates my mind and soul. 
So I do feel like that you do inspire them. You light them up. You electrify them. They're bored without you. They're bored. They're repressing their sexual drive. Nobody likes that. So you definitely light a fire under them. I get freedom. I am ready to break free. And again, we got that as a lot of the theme for this pile. So a lot of the theme is them wanting to be free, wanting to not be trapped, adjust their perspective, be able to move forward with you. I love the chariot. So I do feel like they're ready to like break free from all this crap. And then deceive. Okay, so again, the lying card comes up again. But what's interesting about it is it says, I've been lying to myself and to you. So also the lying could be like them just being in denial and them trying to tell themselves like, I don't like them that much. I don't feel that much. I'm just trying to, you know, minimize it because if they're with a third party, that creates guilt and shame. And then that really lowers their self-esteem. So really for them, they might just be deceiving themselves. So then they might just be trying to tell you the lies they're telling themselves. And then that's just crap. And then they don't like that. So then they remove themselves and then they try not to talk to you. So that is what I have for their emotions. And we have just enough time to, all right, I'm going to do when, when, when might they communicate with you again in the fuchsia. And again, this is going to vary because all of you guys are watching this at different time frames of the year, different years, all of that. So I would say pick the time frame that's closest to you because I'm an optimist. Plus, you guys are manifesting, so apparently you'll be able to make things happen nice. So for some of you watching the Sooner Than Expected, we love this card. This is my favorite one. So they're going to communicate with you sooner than you think. I love that. For some of you next week, I would say take that probably because that's like, you know, the most overall general soonest message for people watching. For others of you, if you guys are watching it way late, then I would say in July. So if you guys are watching this like in May and June or whatever in July, then I would say take this card. Otherwise, take sooner than expected or take next week. That is what I have for you, darlings. I hope this has helped you. I hope you like this video. If you did, feel free to like it, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get all my notifications and updates. Um, if you want a private reading with me, feel free to email me. My information is in the description box, or you can go to my website, fairyastrology.com. You can reach out to me that way. And even though my friend is um, revising it right now, so you may or may not see it. I don't know. Email me. Um, if you don't like this video, pick another pile or another video, or there might not be a message in this video for you today and that's fine. Lucky, don't knock over my tripod. He is crazy. <laughs> Bye guys. Hi pile two, welcome to your reading today where we are asking the question of why are they so silent? So I have your Tarot de Paris deck here. You guys picked the nine of cups which is about making all your dreams and wishes coming true. So perhaps there is your person here that's going to make you very happy very soon. Let's hope. We will see why are they not talking to you. And we're going to start with a traditional relationship spread where we go, we will re read reversals for more information. And we're going to start with how you're thinking and feeling about your person, how your person is thinking and feeling about you, what has happened in the past to bring the situation to this frustrating place? What will happen in the next three months most likely? And what might happen longer term down the road beyond three months time? And oh yeah, if you did like the scenery of the beautiful video, that is in Normandy, France. And it's a beautiful hotel resort that I love called Auberge de la Source in Barneville de la Bertrand. And it's beautiful. So, so great. Okay. So you feel that your person is out of alignment right now. I get the king of swords in reverse. So interesting when I get the person's card on your side, you might be prioritizing them over yourself and your own needs, or you might be like overly kind of accounting for them, if that makes sense, or planning for them in your life, or planning your life around them, or sacrificing yourself for them in some way, or that kind of thing. So King of Swords in reverse, you feel like your person, who also is like a best friend to you, um, and normally is a good communicator, 
obviously when they're in reverse, they're not talking. Um, you guys might be in a no contact. Uh, it's basically like you're feeling like they're out of alignment and you're kind of feeling like what's going on with you person. Why are you out of alignment? You feel like your person might be having some addictions with this card is called energy. You might feel like your person has a negative energy right now or is in a negative spot in their life. You might feel or sense that they are going through like an addiction or a depression or a tough time that, that your person might be having some bad vibes. Also, you might feel like you or your person are addicted to each other or both. And with the energy card, this is actually the devil card. So you also might feel like there's still a very strong sexual attraction that your person feels for you or that you feel for them. Um, and then I get the five of coins upright. You might have a lot of fears, worries, and anxieties. You might feel very rejected and abandoned. You might feel very much left out of the cold. You might really feel like, like if you look at this picture, you know, there's like a church and the door has been slammed shut on these people that are cold outside this church. But what I love is this ray of light that's coming down onto these people here so i feel like that while you feel alone and sad and rejected that you also feel like there's still like a ray of hope that you're feeling in regards to this connection so it seems like you're going through a tough time um your person your person you're correct they are depressed i get the sun in reverse so they are not happy or having a very good time right now they are definitely going through a depression. You are probably accurately perceiving that they are not enjoying themselves and not happy. I feel like they're probably very depressed if they are not with you. I get the lover's card in reverse. So I also feel like they're very, very unhappy when it comes to their love life. I feel like they love you a lot, but maybe they're not receiving your love or they feel like they can't give you their love. So the this is a tough kind of tricky energy as well so yeah your person does feel out of alignment also it seems like your person probably can't feel your love or probably doesn't think that you love them anymore and that's also making them depressed and then i get the sphinx which is the wheel of fortune card and this is a card where it's like even though your person is going through this they also have some hope they also hope that the universe will create some miracle in this connection so I can understand why you would be so confused. Like, why are they silent? Because <laughs> your person feels so depressed and is hoping for you guys to come together, but yet they don't seem to be taking action on it when they like could just do so. So we'll see what some more information. So I get the Sphinx. So I'm a little confused um, with the Wheel of Fortune as to why your person isn't coming forward or talking to you. They're very depressed. They feel like you don't, maybe they're not coming to you because they feel like you don't love them anymore. And they're like, I don't even need to talk to pile two. They don't love me. Maybe your person is, maybe you're mirroring each other and you're both feeling rejected and abandoned and out in the cold. Um, in the past, what's happened? Similar uh, cards to pile one. But I get the Four of Swords. So this probably the separation or this no contact has been going on for a while because in the past there was inactivity as well. So it seems like there's a lot of, you know, flatlining energy going on here. And then I get the Eight of Cups in reverse where it's like normally the Eight of Cups is a walking away. But in reverse, it's kind of like neither of you walked away from each other or neither of you... Like, it's like you guys might have broken up, but you guys still check up on each other or you guys are still really there for each other or you guys would totally be there for each other if the other one picked up the phone and called. You'd be like, hi, 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 hi. It's almost like you guys are dying to talk to each other, which is weird. Um, I get this spirit of fire. So there definitely was like an independence and a freedom. So it's like in the past, you guys ended the connection you have your independence, they have their independence, you're both free, but neither of you guys really walked away or let go of each other, even though there was a lot of inaction time. Then I get, in the next three months, what will happen? Hopefully something better. Let's see. Um, okay, yeah, you guys are getting such similar cards to pile one. There might be messages in there for you too. So I get Ace of Fire. 
So in the next, um, this is cool actually. Um, if you guys are watching this in August, it might even happen now. Um, in August, because this is a Leo, I get a lot of fire energy, so it could be very like August time, but I know you guys could watch this at any time. So Ace of Fire means something happening quick, something speeding up, something happening fast, sparking, a new spark, a new beginning, impulsively, eagerly doing something almost out of just like reflex or impulse, um, not repressing energy, which is nice. And I like this. And even in this card, there are like, an well, it's not angel wings, but to me, they look like angel wings. They are rooftops. But see how it looks like there's almost like an angel to either side of this Arc de Triomphe. Oh, they look like, oh no, they're flags. They're French flags. But I like this because it represents like triumph and the success. So you might even hear from your person. Now I have to say, I don't feel like your person really has made all this progress because I get the question, which is the hanged man. So either your person is still trapped or restricted, or their situation is still the same, their circumstances are still the same, or, you know, they're still kind of confused, or they're still kind of in their trapped, tied up energy. But I feel like at least you might hear from them soon. Maybe that can clarify some things. Even if they aren't really free, I feel, which is interesting because there's the freedom card here, but also the not walking away. So I feel like that there's maybe something where they need to walk away from something and they haven't, and they still haven't in the next three months. Because I get the two of swords, which is making a decision, but I'm also getting that in the next three months, they're still not making any choices or decisions. So I feel like they do talk to you, but I feel like they don't really take major action on the external circumstances of their life that might be um, aggravating your connection or preventing your connection from really having like fluidity. Um, in the future, I really wanted to read this face up and I knew it was reversed when I saw it like in this position and I was like, no, but I will take it the way it is and not the way I wish it to be. So I get the Hierophant, which represents marriage and relationship. It could also mean commitment. It could mean one with you, but it's in reverse, which is no commitment or not really having a commitment with you. If they are in a marriage, it could be that maybe there is an ending of their marriage. Um, but I am getting that if you're wanting a relationship with them and they're single, they still might not be ready for a commitment or relationship with you um, in beyond a three month time. But I want to see why. Why would they not be ready for a commitment or relationship with pile two beyond a three month mark? We're going to do three cards. Well, I get Ace of Cups, which represents romantic love. So this is very, very confusing because I feel like they have a lot of romantic love with you. Unless you know that they're in love with someone else. It could be that they're in love with someone else and they just can't choose you. But if you, but I mean, but this also feels like I feel like they romantically are in love with you. And I get 10 of cups, which represents like ultimate happiness. And then I get the emperor. Oh, interesting. You might get yourself into a relationship. It might be with you that the order card is emperor. You might meet somebody within the next three months of time while your person is being stunted. No offense. Um, and you might actually, yeah, you might actually meet this emperor and fall in love with him and him be your ultimate happiness or divine masculine. Uh, and this divine masculine is your ultimate happiness. Yeah. So your person might not commit to you or you might not commit to your person in the future because you fall in love with someone else. So there is that option. If you don't, would your person come forward to you if you are, or your person might even just think that you're happily in love with someone else. So there was that. But that could be easily cleared up with the communication you guys have. Um, if you are not, if you're single, would your person try to come forward for you? Ooh, I like this card. This is alchemy. So turning lead into gold could be gold could even be a diamond ring, which I like. And I like the crown on it. So this is good. I like that. There's a lot of mercury 
Oh, interesting. Okay, something I'm noticing on the cards are all the astrology symbols. There is a Venus that's upside down here. I don't know if you can see it here. So there's a Venus in reverse, which I would say is Venus retrograde. We are in a Venus retrograde right now if you're watching when I'm releasing this video until September 3rd, 2023. That's interesting. There could be something that happens during this Venus retrograde period for you. And then I'm getting a ton of Mercury's and I'm even getting Sagittarius. I'm getting the sun. So also um, signs coming up would be Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius. These are signs I see. Oh, and there's even a Mars, um, Aries, Scorpio. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. So I would say there's a strong potential. I feel like you guys have a lot of stuff you guys need to figure out together. Or maybe you guys need to talk about. You guys are probably way overdue for a talk. You guys sound like you guys haven't talked to each other in so long. You guys don't even have an accurate perception of what even is going on in each other's lives. So that's pretty interesting. All right. What message do you guys have? If you guys would talk to pile one and say anything, what would you really say to pile, sorry, pile two, I meant. What would you really say to pile two, pile two's person? Okay. Literally. Okay. You guys really might have messages in pile one because I get, I'm too afraid to talk to you. They have too much anxiety. Why? I left because you told me to. Your person feels, it does feel rejected. They do feel like you wanted them to leave. What? I didn't even know there are two cards like this in this deck and I've had this deck for years. Holy crap. I'm too afraid to talk. I'm too afraid to talk. That is insane. I did not know that there were two cards in this deck. I'm sorry. My mind is blown. I almost feel like that's crazy. I did not. How are there duplicate cards in this deck? I've been using this card deck for like two years. That is just so, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm okay. That's not your problem. Okay. You are my everything. So it does seem like that. Yeah. Your person feels like you are absolutely, ev yeah, you're the lovers in the sun and they're depressed about not having you. And then your family won't like me. So they're a little worried that your family will not approve of what they've done or their actions or maybe like breaking up with you or whatever, or, you know, whatever they're doing. They, you're, they're afraid your family won't like it. And then Ace of Swords. This is a card of communication. So your person wants to tell you they would talk to you if they could. But they feel like that you don't want to hear from them and that you don't want to be with them. That's so weird. I'm sorry. I'm still... I'm still like, they are very afraid. All right, why are they afraid to talk to you? I need clarifying cards. Your person is a mystery. Well, this is the card of anxiety. And these are the cards you guys already got. Five of coins and the devil. Their fears are consuming them and wrapping them up. They are afraid they would just be addicted to you. They're afraid they would fall into an obsession. If they open the door, they feel like it would be a floodgate and they just would never be able to bring themselves back from the brink, basically. And then the five of, so, five of coins. They're afraid to talk to you because they feel rejected. They feel abandoned by you. You guys are completely mirroring each other. This is crazy. All right, additional birthdays. I get August 7th or July 8th. I'm getting March 1st or January 3rd, and I'm getting August 10th or October 8th. So, interesting. Your person is so afraid to talk to you because they're afraid they're going to become addicted to you and that you're going to reject them. So, your person is like in a very depressed state because they feel like they can't have you, and they're afraid that you don't want to be with them anymore and that you're done with them. Okay, there is obviously a very strong miscommunication in this pile. All right, what else is your person emotionally feeling when they think of you? They're afraid to open their heart. They feel really stupid. They feel like they've made a fool of themselves. You know what this is? 
I feel like your person's like, oh my God, I really put it all on the line with pile two. And then they chose someone else or they didn't want to be with me or whatever. And now I feel so stupid. I should never have opened up and told them how I feel. Blah, 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 blah. I'm so vulnerable. I feel like that your person is so stupid and they feel like they really shared and poured their heart out to you and that they feel stupid for doing so and they feel rejected for some reason. And then I get inspired. So you definitely still inspire them and you turn them on and you light them up and everything. You guys are getting a lot of repetitive messages from pile one. And what else? They also feel guilty. It says riddled with shame and guilt. So your person also feels very guilty for maybe how things happened or maybe they did something and they messed up or they feel guilty about something that they did in their life. And then unhealthy, I need help. So your person also seems like they're probably having a very hard time dealing with their guilt. So that also might be something that is um, adding to or connecting to the depression. So your person is definitely feeling very guilty and they're feeling very unhealthy and they feel like they need help. But I feel like your person might be a little too stubborn to take it or to find it or feels like they can't get it or something. Okay. Um, I want to know messages from Divine Masculine. What would your person say to you if they could say to you anything? If they were with somebody else, they are no longer sexually active with that person. So they feel like they're not sexually active with anybody in the past or anybody karmic. They are craving to spend time together and share music like we used to. So they really miss spending time with you. Detaching from our connection to concentrate on what needs to get done. You might have a person that has a lot of responsibilities and they just can't indulge in the fantasy of you right now. You are sexually alluring to me and I yearn for your touch. So they're definitely still wishing that they could be with you in that way. So your person's really longing for you right now. I know that you are my divine feminine and I am grateful for it. So they know that you are their person. They know that you're their counterpart or maybe even their twin flame. You inspire me to take action. And that is what we did see with the Ace of Wands. There's a lot that needs to be cleared up between you guys. I would say if you guys do have a chance to communicate with each other, definitely try to give this person some reassurance to open up more, make them feel safe, and really, really clarify any miscommunications that your person might have about you. Because I don't think they understand you and I don't know if you understand them. At the moment, you know, you probably understand each other in general, but you guys might not know details about your lives and be totally misunderstanding what the other person is thinking and feeling and doing. And because you guys don't don't know each other right now, you know, but again, they're longing to be with you. They're aching to touch and kiss you. Your person also might be a really strong touch love language because that is very strong in this. They're very, very, very connected to being with you physically. And then feeling nostalgic about our past and wishing we were together again. So your person really wishes they could be with you. So that's interesting. All right. Does your person think that you're dating someone? There is that. Okay. We have time. What do I want to look at? Um, what's going to happen during the Ace of Wands? All right. When they make some initiation towards you or initiate something, what is going to happen between you and your person in the next three months? Queen, boss babe, independent and strong and wishes. This is what we got. This is the nine of cups, wishes coming true. Okay, queen, if you are a queen watching this, I would say you're gonna get your wishes. That's beautiful, star crown heart. 
So that's fantastic. So you're in charge, you're a boss, but you also are, you know, you're independent, you're strong, you're empowered, and your wishes are coming true. I love this. So that's fantastic for you. So you're going to get what you want in some way. What you've been wishing for, you get to have. And then steps forward. Okay, movement forward and momentum. So you guys are going to be able to take some steps forward. So I feel like this is important and very crucial. So I like this. You might even be the one that drives this forward. You might be the leader in this way. Not to say that you initiate conversation, but you might be the leader as to like, where you bring it, you know? Incoming abundance, reliable structure, foundation. If you guys need some finances or money to make this happen, that comes in. Especially if you're like, I wish I could live with them. I wish I could see them in person. I wish something financial would happen so that we could be closer. Then that's definitely something that will happen. So yay. I would say right now, you guys, if you've been manifesting a miracle, something really beautiful happens in these next three months. Okay, we don't want to have any more messages. No? You want to be a mystery? Want one last one because I'm a curious girl? <laughs> oh, cool. Muse. Artistic inspirations and entertainments. So you guys might do something creative together. Or if you are creative, this is all about you. I feel like this is all you, what you do next. I don't know why I'm not getting what they're going to do next, but I feel like what you do next helps. So cool. So maybe you do something creative or artistic and it might even have to do with your career and something, it, it, it ends up being something that can start moving this connection forward with your person and make your wish come true. You are a very smart person and speak up. All right. So you might speak up. That's awesome. Stand your ground. Stand up for yourself. So, you are a boss, babe. Okay. And if you're a masculine watching this, then you might just be somebody that is in tune with your feminine and you're using your masculine in a very, like, kind, compassionate, sweet, loving way. All right. Because I feel like that for you guys watching that your masculine and feminine energies are very much in balance with each other. So that's good. All right, so final message for you guys. When might you hear from them in the next, I would say in the next three months. So because there are a lot of people watching and because people could watch this timeless at any time, pick the time frame that's closest to you or within a three month window, if you can. If not, then it may just be later on, but pick the one that's soonest. Next month. That's fantastic. Okay, so next month seems pretty quick. I love it. Not likely, but what I do get is I get the skull, which is Scorpio season. So also Scorpio season could be happening. Within a year, that's okay. So that's if you guys are watching this video and it's like August 2024 right now, or if you guys are watching this within a year from now, then I would say that, yeah, that I would say that it could be that they talk to you within a year from today, which is like August 2024 timeframe. So if you're watching this like July 2024 or whatever, I would say it could be around August. This week. So for some of you watching, they're going to talk to you this week, which I love. And I get in June. So if some of you guys are watching in the spring, then I would say that in June, your person is going to talk to you. So I hope that helps you guys. That is fantastic. And I will talk with you guys later. If you guys like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you want a private reading with me, feel free to email me in my, uh, and my information is in the description box. You can go to my website, fairyastrology.com, but my friend is working on it right now and revising it. So it may or may not work. <laughs> Probably does. Anyways, uh, email me though. That's the best. Solaris Fairy Astrology at yahoo.com. And also, um, yeah, if you guys feel like this wasn't your pile, feel free to pick another one. And if you feel deeply connected to this pile, then I would definitely say also watch pile one because that one I think is uh, important. I think it connects to you guys. Anyways, 
Hope you guys have a good one and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading today. You guys have picked this beautiful Tarot de Paris deck. And we have been, um, the scenery that you saw was the um, Barnville de Bertrand. And it's this hotel called Auberge de la Source. So it's very cool. Um, it's in Normandy, France, and it's very beautiful. It's one of my favorites. So we're going to focus today on why are they silent. And these cards flipped out. So normally I do my traditional spread, but I'm actually going to take this as an overall arcing theme for your reading today. So first I get eight of coins. So I feel like your person is somebody that is very hardworking. So they might be somebody that's always focusing on their job and their career. They might have a strict schedule or they might be having a responsibility that they have to do all the time or consistently. They also might be a very um, strong provider. So I get the six of coins which I feel like they might be very generous, they might be very giving. If they have to take care of a lot of people or some people financially, um, kids, aging parents, whatever, it seems like they have dependents and they need to take care of these people. And so that's why they're working really hard. And I get the moon, especially if they have to take care of their mother. Um, the moon can represent older woman, like mother, grandmother, aunt, that kind of energy. So if your person has to take care of maybe their mother, especially if their mother is not well, then I would say that your person also might be silent because of that. But I'm going to put these back in the deck and we're going to see a little bit more about what's going on in this connection. But that might be another kind of confirmation for you. But let's get some more details and see what they would say to you and... Let's see some more information about this connection, how they're thinking and feeling about you, all that stuff. So I have three cards over here, which represent how you're thinking and feeling about your person right now. These are three cards about how they're thinking and feeling about you, what they're perceiving this connection to be right now. This is three cards from the past. What's happened in order to bring this connection to where it is? Um, Three cards for the near future in the next three months. What will most likely happen between you guys um, in the next three months from now? And then a card for more of like a longer term outcome or something happening down the road. So on your side, you it seems like you feel pretty good. So, okay, the first two piles I feel like might have had a little more angst to them. You feel like maybe you're just curious why they're not talking to you, but you feel like you're like in a good spot. You actually might be like, I don't know why they're not talking to me. I'm just going to message them. Like you're not really like overanalyzing it or like taking it to heart at all. I feel like you're happy. Um, if you're not, you might want to pick pile one or two because <laughs> I get the spirit of fire, which is like, you're just fine. Especially if you're a fire sign, feminine energy, you might be like, I am good. I am fine. I know I'm sexy. I know my person likes me. I know that my worth, I feel really great, strong, empowered, confident. Everything is good. This translates to the page of wands. So there is that. And I love the Statue of Liberty on it because it represents you're like, I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm free. I'm independent. I do my life. I have lots of stuff going on. I can do. I feel good. And then I get the Ace of Swords or Air, which is kind of like, I might just message you. If I haven't heard from you, I'll be like, hey, what's up? What's going on? You're not wondering. Like, you might be like, hey, what's going on? Are you okay? What's going on? But I don't feel like you're worried about like, oh, they don't love me anymore. So I don't feel like you feel this way. I think that you're feeling like, I'm just curious, like, why aren't you talking? Are you cool? And then I get the nine of cups, which is happiness, dreams, and wishes coming true. And you're just kind of like, I'm good. I'm good either way. So, so you're seeming pretty chipper and, and bright and happy right now. You're just curious. What are they going through? So yeah, there's definitely a lot of people around. Uh, also, if your person's taking care of kids, I get that there is someone out there that there is an air sign that is taking care of their water sign mom. So I'm getting queen of cups. I'm getting stallion of air or knight of swords. And I'm getting king of swords in reverse. Um, for some of you out there, your person is an air, is, um, is a sun 
to this mother and the father might be out of the picture or might be having some challenge or some, maybe he's passed or maybe he is incapacitated for right now or something. So it seems like your, your person is taking care of their parents. Um, for others of you, I feel like your person feels like they can't talk to you right now. King of Swords in reverse, but will very soon with the Stallion of Air or Knight of Swords racing in. And then I get Queen of Cups where I feel like they care for you and they love you and you're very special and important to them, which you probably know. So this King of Swords and this Queen of, Air, of Cups would also represent like your connection. Also, if this is you, they also might have a son that's an air sign. So there is that. So it especially applies if you're a water sign female and they are air sign male. But if not, it's cool because they also might just be taking care of family. Um, also, they might just have friends in town, that kind of thing. That could be. So they might be like, I can't talk because I have some friends in town or I have to take care of some stuff. So your person seems like they're in a good spot overall. And I feel like your person thinks that you guys are together and probably in a commitment so there is that. So if you're like, why haven't I heard from my boyfriend? Why haven't I heard from my partner? I feel like that they're obviously still interested, as you know, and they are just taking care of others. Um, Six of Cups. It seems like you guys got back together in the past, and that's very beautiful. So I love this. I get the High Priestess. You might have already intuitively picked up that you guys were going to get back together before you guys did. So that's cool, too. So I like that with the Veil. And I get the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so you guys had a painful ending in the past and then you got back together and you kind of anticipated it would happen and that's beautiful. I don't get that you're anxious. If you are anxious, I would say it could be very understandable if you are afraid that they would break up with you again and that they're not talking to you was leading to that. But I don't think that that's going to happen. I do feel like they are just in this case legitimately actually busy and I would say that if you do have any PTSD from the breakup or any like you know it kind of upset your trust or gives you a little anxiety I would say that would be no worries but I don't really get that you're really anxious I get that you're maybe curious and I get the seven of coins in the future. So within the next three months, I do feel like the reason why they're working so hard, as you know, and as came up with the eight of coins, is they're really trying to like grow something. They're really trying to make something last. They're really trying to invest in something that can accrue. They're really trying with the seven of coins. This is they're planting the seed. They want it to grow and they want it to harvest later. So they're really putting in the hard work now to benefit their long-term life. So there is that. And I get the nine of fire or nine of wands. So I'm also getting that, you know, your patience is paying off with the nine, with the seven of coins and that you're, you know, you're going to feel like the battle is behind you. So the nine of wands is about like a wounded warrior that also is feeling like, okay, I went through a tough time, but I'm still left standing and I'm still strong and I'm still okay. So I feel like also you're patient. But also you're feeling like, all right, we did have a painful ending, but we did overcome it. We did move forward from it and we can do it again. And this doesn't seem like it's going to be that anymore, especially with the Six of Swords, which I know some readers look at that as moving on, but I always look at this differently. I always see the Six of Swords as somebody that is being supported by either your person, by your friends and family, or by the universe. So... Side note, Tarot de Paris is the first deck that I ever got. I got this when I was in college. It was the first tarot deck that I learned on. And what I love about this is I've always thought of the Six of Swords because of this exact card, because this was my very first deck ever. So what I love about it is you can see there's this person in this boat, but what you maybe wouldn't focus on at first is there's an owl here in the tree. Yeah. And so what that always represents is this is like your spirit guide, or this is the universe, or this is like angelic assistance, or maybe even your animal totem. And it seems like that for this, that it's like you're being watched over and guided, and you're in like a team with the person that you want to be with, and that your spirit guides are protecting you. 
and that you're moving out of rocky waters into calmer waters. And here it's even like you're, you've like reached the shore. So you're not going to be struggling in a storm anymore. So I feel like in the next three months, actually, things are going to start to like level out. They'll be more peaceful. And I like this for you guys. Down the road, I get the five of fire and I kind of feel like this is more general. Like you guys will kind of like do what it takes to be together and that you guys would fight off any adversity that comes your way as a couple or in life uh, together as a team. And I like this. It's even like when you look at this, this picture, it's like this guy hitting the snake with a rock. So it's like batting down any kind of danger. So I feel like your person is very protective and he's you know, I feel like your person is protective over, you know, their family or their friends right now, or their, especially their parents or their kids. But I would say that your person also wants to protect you too, because that's kind of who they are and that's their nature. So I feel like your person would absolutely fight for you and would absolutely protect you like at all costs. So that is beautiful. Then I see, what would your person say to you if they could say to you anything? going to go to Stellar Energy Oracle. Who would Pile Three's person say to them if they could say anything? All right. Okay. Your person also feels a little worried um, because when you guys did break up in the past, it did really, really hurt your person. So I get parting ways. So your person was really hurt from the breakup in the past and I get paralyzing fear. And I feel like your person might have actually more anxiety about it happening again than you. And I get coming together. So I get how this kind of mirrors how you guys broke up and how you've got back together and how they might actually have a lot of anxiety about it recurring or happening again. And so I feel like your person actually might be more of the anxious one in this partnership. Um, and so I feel like that, yeah, your person is healing a lot, but I love this because I get happy ending, which is beautiful. So it's like you guys parted ways. They were really scared to lose you. You guys got back together and now you have this beautiful, happy ending. And I feel like your person, you know, maybe wants to just also give you that kind of love, you know, to let you know, like, oh, I know we went through a parting ways and, you know, maybe you're scared of that or I was scared of that. And you know, we're not going to have that happen. We're together. We're happy. We're moving forward towards a beautiful life. And, you know, I feel like your person is really, you know, wanting you to, to be happy. And I get looking inward. I do feel like your person is doing a lot of reflecting right now. I feel like this is more like they're contemplating like life and like the mysteries of life. And I like this one. So I feel like your person's really thinking about like how much you mean to them. Oh, yeah. Mirrored souls. I feel like you both go through this from time to time. So I feel like you guys both kind of reflect upon the breakup and how it was painful and how it's scary to think about almost losing each other and how you guys are so grateful to be together and you're mirroring each other in this way. And it's cool because I feel like even with this, like you see how this card is like, you're the swans and the mirrored souls. They're like mirroring each other. So I feel like you guys are both mirroring each other. And I think that's very beautiful. So I feel like your person also might be kind of curious, like, oh, while I'm taking care of what I need to do, what is pile three up to? What are they doing? What's going on with them? That kind of thing. And they get poetic justice. So I also feel like that your person is very aware of just how much they want to give to you. They don't want it to be like an unbalanced, unfair situation. So your person definitely wants to, you know, give you a lot of love and make you feel safe make you feel protected, make you not worry that you guys aren't doing well. So your person definitely wants to, and I'm only going to take the top one because there's a lot. Well, actually I'll take both. Okay. Um, I like restoring balance because I do feel that this is very similar to the justice card where it's like your person just wants things to be balanced. They definitely want to give more to you. So if they've been silent or a little absent, I feel like they're going to try to make it up to you. I get second chance. So your person definitely loves how you guys are back together and how you guys are giving this relationship another try. And I think that that's beautiful. Um, I get pure seduction and burning passion. So yes, your person definitely wants to remind you and reassure you of just how much they want you, of how passionate they are towards you and how sexy they think you are. 
So absolutely yes. And maybe the way they want to restore balance in this connection is to show you with touch love language because I get that they're probably aware they've been a little closed off or unavailable lately. And they also want to like the victory lap. Like they want to share with you just how happy they are that they are together with you. They feel like victorious that you guys did get back together. And I feel like they really want to share that with you. So I feel like your person is temporarily silent and that it is mild and not a big deal and that they will absolutely reunite with you or, you know, reach out to you to explain what they're doing and say hi and, and all that. So that is cool. Now we're going to do Journey of Love 2. What would your person say to you if they could? Aww. I swear it's true. Truth. I feel like that's beautiful. And then, yes, loyal companion. My love is unconditional. So they're like, I'm honest with you when I say that I love you unconditionally. That's beautiful. Yeah, this time has taught me so much separation. So during this time period where they're busy and they're focusing on other things, they definitely have learned a lot. I mean, we did get the looking inward card. So definitely. And also I feel like the separation when you guys did break up taught your person so much and that they would never want to do that again. That was like torture for them. And I get comparison. Nobody could ever take your place. And again, this is like that mirrored souls card where you're looking at each other and it's beautiful. So you both feel like your person is the one and you both feel like nobody could ever be better for you than your person. I'm so tired of dancing alone, depression. So I feel like your person doesn't want to have to go through these time periods where they can't be with you or where they're by themselves. They do feel like they get lonely without you, even when they have to do things and they're running around and being very busy. I feel like that it makes them sad to not have you next to them. And then I'm still so afraid to tell you fear. So what are you as your person afraid to tell you? Oh, I'm ready to tell you everything, vulnerable. <laughs> so your person's a little afraid of being vulnerable, but I do feel like your person is trying to open up more and more. So that might be something that just kind of goes along with this connection is your person just also may just not love being vulnerable in general, but they're realizing like they have to be that because otherwise it creates miscommunications and misunderstandings and that can, you know, derail connections, even the strongest of ones. So they know they have to be vulnerable. The truth is I love you secrets. Your person may just be one that doesn't necessarily always be very flowery with their speech or very poetic. They may not always share like, oh my God, I love you. I love you. I love you. They might not be like so verbal like that. They might just kind of keep it to themselves or they just may have like a quiet inner knowing of it, but they may not be the most like talkative person about it, how they want you now. So they're definitely very turned on and they're very sexually attracted to you for sure. So they definitely feel that. And then they're so mad at themselves. Why are they angry? Why are they angry? Maybe because they haven't expressed to you just like how much they, they love you. I feel like for some of you, if you guys have progressed your connection far enough, they might even want to marry you or you guys might be married and they feel like they just haven't really always told you or maybe they're mad at you, mad at themselves for the times they didn't tell you that you were the one or that like they're kicking themselves a little bit for the times when they needed to open up to you more and be more vulnerable and that they didn't. So there's a little bit of that energy going on. And let's see. Let's look at some timing. When would your person talk to you next? I feel like you guys are pretty much in constant communication normally. So I wouldn't take any cards for you guys that are like too far off in the future because you guys, um, this is a video that's timeless. So people are watching it any time, a long time. I would say this card. I would say, I'm not even gonna deal with those unless you guys are watching it in June. And then I would say, all right, in June, um, sooner than expected. So I feel like you're going to hear from your person probably unexpectedly throughout the day in a, on a day that you don't expect to hear from them, but they would message you being like, oh, actually I have some time. I didn't think that I did, but I do. So there's a little bit of that. And then final message for you from your person. All right. shadow side message. It's too scary to admit that I'm in love with you. 
So if your person hasn't actually said it, they do love you, but they're scared to admit it. We did get like fear of being vulnerable and we did get that. So your person's scared to maybe say the words I love you or maybe they're, it's scary for them to be vulnerable and really like show love to somebody in that like way. They may not do it or they might do it only sporadically. And then it says, I contradict myself and give you mixed messages because they probably show you a lot of affection and then maybe there are some things that they hold back and then you're like, but then why wouldn't you do this or why wouldn't you say that? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Or why do you go periods of time without talking to me if you love me? It might be that that's, there's like a confusion there because of it. But I do feel like, and that might be where your person's mad at themselves. They're just like, oh, why can't I get over this? Why can't I just be more open and expressive with pile three when they're my person but they said that they are a better person because of you and i feel like that they are working on it and hopefully they will feel or in time safer to be more vulnerable with you so that is what i have for you pile three i hope this has helped you a lot i do feel like you and your person are good and i feel like they're gonna talk, talk to you like very unexpectedly quickly so um, I hope this has helped you. If you guys want a personal reading with me, feel free to email me. My email is solarisfairyastrology at yahoo.com and it should be in the description box. Or you can go to my website, fairyastrology.com. If you feel like you liked this video, I'd love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys felt like this wasn't your pile, feel free to pick another pile or another video, especially if you are going through a lot of stress and angst about your person or you're in separation, you know, breaking up, that kind of thing. You might actually resonate more with pile one or two. So I will talk with you guys next time and I hope you have a good one. Bye.